in the second fight of the night, we do have Hayley Cowan taking on Claudia Lite. And I feel like the UFC probably wants Hayley Cowan uh, in their division. She is very marketable as a fighter. She's very strong and she is somewhat exciting to watch because she does have a pretty good kickboxing game. She's very athletic as well and very strong. Claudia Lite, on the other hand, she's more of a grappler. She's somewhat unrefined. I feel like there's a lot of potential there, but at the moment, maybe it's a little bit too early for her. But I do say that when there's a huge red flag on Hayley Cowan's record that we, we can't ignore. In her second to last fight, she lost to Kelly Clayton, who was 1-2 and two at the time, and she's like 38 years old. Like, that's just... That's just not a good look. <laughs> that's not a good look. And for that reason, for quite a while, before I really started looking into it, just looking at their records, I was like, man, I don't see Hayley Cowan winning this fight. But after watching the fight... After watching the fighters, sorry, I really do think that Hayley Cowan does have a very good striking advantage in this one. And if Claudia Lite does go to look to grapple, go to look to clinch up on the cages, you do see, do see sorry, in a lot of women's MMA fights. You saw it last week on the Contender Series, Karolina Wojcic was going for a lot of clinching positions, she was going for a lot of takedowns. And uh, for for the most top, most of it, she was the stronger lady in there. She was winning those positions. Hayley Cowan, if it ever gets like that, Hayley Cowan is the more athletic and the stronger fighter out of the two here, in my opinion. But what we do see uh, out of both both girls is uh, Hayley Cowan. She's a good kickboxer. She can get takedowns her at, at, at her own if she if she really wants to, and she does have pretty good wrestling herself. Now on Claudia Lite, what she's got is she's got good jujitsu. She's got a pretty good wrestling, but get base as well. And she does look to go for the clinch quite a bit. But on the feet, you know, Claudia Lite, she's very flat-footed. And uh, she's very hittable on the feet as well. And Hayley Cowan, in my opinion, is the much better uh, striker out of the two. I think Hayley Cowan's faster. I think she's going to throw more volume. I think she's going to throw the more damaging shots as well. Claudia Lite, I feel like, is going to be looking to clinch up for quite a bit of this fight. But I feel like Hayley Cowan, with her strength, is going to be able to stifle that. Maybe even get herself in dominant positions and push Claudia Lite away. Or even just work her own dominant positions and win control time that way. I think the fight does go the distance. There is potential for Claudia Lite to lock up a submission. Both of Kaylee Cowan's losses have come by uh, submission. So there's a potential there as Claudia Lite does have. She's got one submission win in her career. But she's got four wins by KO. Hayley Cowan, on the other hand, she has also got two wins by submission and two wins by KO. I think the fight goes the distance. There's definitely an opportunity for a finish on either side here. I think Claudia Lite is honestly, I know she's only got one submission on her record, but I feel like that's her her path to victory. Hayley Cowan's lost both of her fights by submission, and she's the much better striker out of the two. I think Hayley Cowan's going to cruise to a decision here. I think she's just going to kickbox with Lite, keep her away, and Cowan's just going to work a uh, decision-based kickboxing fight. I think it will be high volume enough and also entertaining enough to somewhat impress the matchmakers and Dana White to, to sign her, because I think that... Hayley Cowan's a very marketable fighter. I think there's a, there's a reason why she's being given Claudia Lite in this one here. I think that the UFC wants to sign her. And she is almost 31 years old. So if you're going to get her in the UFC, it's probably now Claudia Lite. She can lose this and come back in a couple of years and get signed then if that's what the UFC wants to do with her. But yeah, that's kind of the pick. I'm picking Katie Hayley Cowan to win a decision in this fight here.